Welcome back to the channels Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us keep the reading of my book Cluders, Mare Pop Beyond the Cloud, available on Amazon. In this part we will keep the reading of the chapter for seven months, one more film and all is well. Or is it? Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Let's go. He showed great seriousness and hesitation. His expression was tense as if he'd touched a crucial point of something he might not have revealed at all. But it was too late, because he already had my attention and now it would be very difficult to deviate from my question. I only hoped that this time there would be no sudden absence of awareness that would take him out of the conversation conveniently at that moment. Did not happen. He finally set the plate on the nearest table, took my two hands and said, Okay, Mare, here it goes. In the coming months your blog will reach the first million readers. After that it will start to attract attention from the great internet portals and soon after the mainstream media. The level of influence of their texts and criticism will become even greater among young people. At first people will think that it's just another trend among the internet youngsters, but soon they will notice that these young people will begin to challenge the rules of society. The reason of why to study so much if the job opportunities are getting worse, the reason for following the rules of politicians who don't comply with the very laws they formulate and finally they will rebel against the system. And this is bad because… because the insurrection will be harshly repressed by the rulers. Many young people will be arrested, beaten and killed. And they will blame your blog for everything. It's… Focus. I'm going to assume that I believe in your futurology. First, I'm proud to think that my blog will be so successful. Second, what does this have to do with Leandro and I not being able to talk to him anymore? At that moment my aunt came to call us to make the central celebration of my parents' anniversary party. Everyone started to head to the main room where there would be a few lines and a toast. We headed there. On the way he told me. I don't know if the explanation I have will satisfy you, Mare. Walking slowly and remembering what I had been going through the previous weeks, I replied. Does it have to do with dreams, Marcos? He looked at me sharply. Obviously, yes. How do you know that? I don't think I'm the only one who's been having strange dreams, with supposed messages from the future. So did you. We came in the room for the toast. We'll talk later. I want to know exactly what the messages are telling you. The closest people to my parents said a few things. Congratulations and toasts. Everyone laughed and celebrated their twenty years of marriage. It was a very joyful and happy moment that I love to remember very fondly for several reasons. The movie session was almost over. Tris and Four, the central couple of the film Divergent were together with other fugitives leaving the city by train, looking to the future with hope and uncertainty. Everyone already knew that there would be a sequel. Especially I who had researched and knew that the author had made three books. Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. Leandro held my hand and waited for me to comment on the film. Didn't you have the feeling she was still in a simulation? What do you mean, Mare? The lights came on and we started to leave the theater. The interval and the events after she overcame the last simulation seemed to me to be tied together, as if she had done well the simulation as a trick for her to be further ahead in the simulation. It may be, my dear but it'll only be known for sure when the sequel hits. He laughed. I looked at him fondly, but also feeling superior by what I was going to say. You can read the books before that, my dear. He laughed again. Of course. But you well know how one media can ruin the other. You said it yourself on your blog a few months ago. Clever. We kissed as we passed the corridor outside the exhibition rooms. These corridors of movie complexes are funny for they are like cattle stalls always directing people out of their corrals of illusion in celluloid. Invariably, all of them end up in the food courts of the mall, sort of provoking viewers to some sort of snack after the movie. You could smell the pizza and hamburger coming from the hallway. So, are we going to eat something? Course. Cinema without fast food then it's like finishing a test and not asking the feedback for everyone. There was a sweet ripening in my new relationship. After all I was now dating a boy almost three years older than me. 
But it was much more than that. You must be wondering what happened from my parents' anniversary party to here. What has changed in me so much? Yes, it is true that my body developed a lot and my hormones finally gave a sign of life. No, nothing like that has happened between me and Leandro. I'm too safe and conscious to be carried away by any boy, no matter how handsome and intelligent he is. But the reasons came from a much more unusual source to have me grown more mature in such a short time. We arrived at a pizza place in the food court of the mall. We sat and made our order as always, a large pizza half pepperoni and half olives. We started sipping our soft drinks and chatting and playing with one another. All very cute. But it was difficult to get here. And almost did not happen. Coming back to the night of my parents' party, Marcos and I spent a lot of time talking about what was happening to him, to me. And apparently to the world. He told me that he was still in his old school, in another city, before his mother traveled to accompany his father to the embassy in Uruguay. The first dream happened in a very ordinary way, and it did not seem extraordinary at all. He walked down the street and saw a television in front of a sofa. He sat down on the couch and began to watch. They passed day-to-day -day images, movie scenes, some boyish things he did not want to go on, and finally an image of himself appeared in his study room in front of the computer. What he was accessing was just my blog. The video looked as if loaded in the same style as YouTube. Nothing struck him as odd, just that the blog address kept pounding his memory for days. Until he finally logged in. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Continuing to support the channel's Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Subscribe, like and share the video. Bye bye.